Hello everyone, this is Counselor Moto. We're back, but this time we're not fixing anything or bidding for something. We are at the Meekum Auctions in Las Vegas. It's gonna be a great time. I'm gonna run you through all of the bikes here on Thursday. Of course, I'm wearing my shameless plug, Motorcycle Riders of Purdue University. Buddy, check the back. I printed it myself. Um, Shuck designed it, but you know, if you want to go buy these by chance, go to the Riders of Purdue Instagram. Click the uh, link tree in the bio. You can go onto our um, uh, website, place an order, we'll ship it to you. They're great. You'll support the club. Anyway, we have a lot of bikes to check out today. Whole lot of bikes. And then we'll even go into that fun room and check those out. So, let's get going. We got a long day. Ducati, Neiman Marcus edition. It's been used, but it's pretty. I don't know. I like it. The bikes and the wings. I'm just gonna go through here and see. BSAs, Royal Enfield. This might be a pretty long video because there's a whole lot of bikes for sale. So I'll have to be kind of swift. Stop with what I fancy. 83 Harley Davidson. My grandmother used to have one of these. It's a beautiful bike. Story is she, uh, she only rode it once. She fell, dumped it in the driveway, and then broke her wrist and never rode it again. I wish she still had it, though. Nice Triumph. These things are weird. Try 3TA21. Dirt bike scrambler things. Not really my thing. That's my thing. We'll get to that. Yep. This is every bike that's going on Thursday here at Las Vegas. Honda CR480R. This thing rips. Man, this thing. I'll go for, for some nice money. That guy knows what he's talking about. I know nothing about Norton's. Besides, I have a metal sign that says Norton, <laughs> the unapproachable. Oh, these are sick. Inline four CB350s. My buddy Gabe has one of these. Rode it, I love it. It's such a dope bike. It's a little, you know, this is a little nicer than Gabe's, but I don't know if I'd want something this nice, personally. Very cool. CL350 Scrambler. Nice. Look at this thing. Jawa 895. Unique. Husqvarna. These little, little guys here. These scooters. That's strange. Look at this. Woo! 1980 Benelli 254. Wow. That's a that's a nice looking bike. 
Now this right here, I like. I love these Super Sports CB750F. I've been looking for one of these, and just not as not as nice as this. This this needs some love, but you can still bring it back. I'm looking for something that that is just kind of far gone. I just want to chop it up, make it into another one of my builds. Yep, 750F, nice. Getting crowded in here. CR 500R, God dang. Vibrant. I think I need to get myself a dirt bike sometime. Let's go ripping around. See, that, that, the plan is I build a, a trailer for the Subaru, the STI, um, put a little incognito hitch on it, and then build a two bike trailer and um, run up to Montana or something and have a road bike and a dirt bike or another bay for a homie to come with. BSA Spitfire 650, 1966. Very pretty right here. 590, no, that's 5,000, yeah. Still. Slow, 5,902 miles. Ducati Monster, I love these things. It's a 900. My cousin's dream bike, except his is the, I think it's the 618 in all black. Specifically the 2002, but yeah, these are pretty. I think this should go for some affordable price. 23,000 miles. Never seen anything like this. Kimati? Kimati? I don't know. But it has 26, uh, 26 miles. Crazy. See, I'm, I'm learning so much here. That That's part of the cool thing is I can geek out over the things I know. And, you know, this might be the only time I see some of this stuff. Like this. RZ350. Are you kidding? But then I also see some weird, weird stuff. And learn a little bit about it. RZ350. Nice. MV Augusta. That is just a wild looking motorcycle here. 800cc. Huh. Never seen one of these before. Beautiful. Moto Guzzi El Dorado. God dang. Love those ends. Here's pretty much my cousin's dream bike. 2002 Tugatti Monster. I have sat on one of these in my Purdue Riders Club. Very nice. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty. Oh, we're into the uh, the big mix of everything. Yeah, we got a little bit to go. All of that sold, so we'll gloss over there. Bikes start selling in uh, 18 minutes, but I th I, I don't think anything. So far, nothing over there we're going to bid on. So we got plenty of time. This is crazy. Yamaha SR500. Jesus. Hindsight 2020. Cool stuff. 93 CBR 600 F2. Clean looking bike. 04 RC51. A little bit too new for me. But this style sport bike, I like a little bit, a little bit older. But nonetheless, a very, 
Very nice bike. Pause that if you want to read it. Sheesh. 36 Benelli 250. Completely unrestored, obviously. Man. Just gotta keep chugging along, chugging along. Yep. Rich guys and their collections. <laughs> Twenty six BSA S twenty six right here. That is a nice looking bike here. Have to learn how to shift that. Nonetheless, that'd be an adventure to ride. Don't think I'll ever see another one of those. Six fifty Bonneville. Another 354. Fun little bike. Here we go. I think this is the first thing we're going to look at. 86 VFR 700. 28,000 miles. They actually make body kits for this thing. Um... I think it's like 3,800 pounds. Ship it overseas, and um, you could make this thing look like a you know, RC30, NC30, whatever they're called. But. Okay, we're back. Different format. GoPro action. My uh, phone ran out of storage, so we'll see how this works. Mildly worried about the mic, but I think it'll be fine. It won't be for too long. Whenever these finally upload. But yeah, I think we were last on this VFR. We'll bid on that, see how that works. Got a nice 74 CV750. Looking just like just like mine before I tore it up. Kind of like this, this sparkly orange. That's the first one going up. CB750 can't zoom in with this, but here we have a uh, VFR750 86. Look at this baby. Race spec has a bunch of RC30 parts on it. Slicks for tires. This thing is just incredible. It is just incredible. YZ490. Pretty cool bike there, too. That uh, first CB750 just sold for 2250 there's a CBX 1000. Beautiful. 6,000 miles. This is just immaculate. These uh, back fenders love to crack. And we're not seeing any cracks here. Ah, dang. Beautiful bike. It's going to go for way, way too much, though. Incredible. I'm just going to keep going. There's a Dyna. It's pretty. Uh, estimated 20 grand. 61 Sportster. 1921 Sunbeam Model 7. Wow. That is cool. Jeez. Got a lot of internet bidders this time around. R90. Little brother is an R80. Cool looking. Cool looking. I like that pouch on the back. That's pretty cool. Scrambler, scr scrambler build. 
I like that speedo tack. Trying to get something for my CV that'll incorporate that. Yes, 58 R50. Jeez. Scoot over here. Let's see, are these Thursday? Yes, these are. Another 750. Immaculate. Immaculate condition. Wow. Look at this thing. <laughs> yeah, mine definitely does not look like this. Better than new. How many miles? 3,000? 15 to 25K. There's a KZ900. That's nice looking too. All right, we're at 185 left. Won't be on the GoPro for too long. Exact same bike is over there, but this one actually is less miles. It's nice, nice clean. Pretty damn clean though. I still have stickers on that. That's crazy. KZ650 with a CX500 Turbo. Seven to nine. 11,000 miles. Sticker still in the tank. Very cool. There's actually one, another one. There's two others down there. That's a digital clock right there. Very, very cool. They're just announcing everywhere. Turbo, turbo. They want you to know this, this, this bike's turbocharged. Turbo. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Triumph T100 SR Tiger. BSA Super Rocket. Lightning Rocket. Still don't know a whole lot about English bikes, but it's cool to learn. Norton Commando. That's pretty cool. Still got a whole... <laughs> we got a little while to go, don't we? All right, I just cleared out so much stuff from my phone, so we're back on here. Uh, 61 Harley. Very interesting bike here. I don't think I'd ride it, but I know plenty of people who would. Pretty cool. Look at this. I don't even, I know absolutely nothing about that, but that is wild. Huh. 90 grand. Jesus. R80 GS. Bimmers R52 estimated 25 to 30 grand. Slick bikes, just a little slow in my opinion. I wouldn't pay that much, but they're nice. Now, this on the other hand. CBR 600 Hurricane, built for racing. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> wow. That is just incredible. This is cool too, 01 ZX7R. Cool cigarettes. Sold on a bill of sale. It's a nice looking bike. Another ZX7R. A lot, of, a lot of these bikes, it's interesting. You gotta go through here and just see. Somebody put this thing in his garage and just never touched it. Uh, this is cool here. 86 Gixxer 1100. 
Yoshimura. Tornado. This is a bizarre motorcycle. This is something I'll I'll have to look back on. That's why I like making these videos. I'll look back and just research these. Like, what the heck did I actually just see at this auction? I mean, this is just wild. Look. 20 to 25K estimated. This bike only has 682 miles. Same thing. Put it up in the garage. Never touched it. So there's a uh, Zuka Katana. Not a big fan of these. I respect them, but eh, not really my style. Real done up KZ Thousand. That is very, very interesting. Let's look at this. Jeez. Now we're starting to get into the wild bikes. This is the 82 CB 1100R. 2,667 miles, one of 1,500 cruised. I think this is from Australia when I was researching it. Imported. All these bikes were imported. But it's interesting because it is just, it's pretty filthy in here. So, I don't know if this was uh, just sitting in a barn, got disgusting, and now it's here, or or what, but I don't know, for 2,000 miles, it's, uh, it's pretty dirty, but none nonetheless, it, it is a beautiful, beautiful bike, and there's another one here that we'll get to further down the line now these are cool 58 ducati 100 sport that paint is just beautiful small bike but i, I like it Clip-ons, nice. Factory, I guess. It's cool. I like that. Now this is just crazy. This is a replica. I think there's a real one sitting up front. I'll save those for the end. This is just crazy. Damn good job for a replica. Jeez. I, I'd buy this, you know? Just because the, the real one's probably unattainable. I don't know where I'd ride it, but pretty damn cool. RZV500. Eddie Lawson. And here's the second one. Now this one, this is the first bike we're bidding on. So it has more miles, 5,000-ish five, more miles than the last one, but it's in better condition. We'll take a look. Very very pretty not sure where this one originated that sheesh wouldn't that look good in the garage is he one 900 Nice. KZ Thousand. Lots of these Kawasaki's. Never really been part of the rage, you know? 
I've never ridden one, so I guess I don't I don't get it until I ride it, but I don't know. They're nice, but eh. GS1000. Here we go. Widowmaker. H2750. In this thing, incredible. I'd kill to ride one of these. Like I was talking about the CBX guy, Gabe, he has a H1. Hopefully he gets that thing running and, and I'll ride that at some point. That is, this is, there's actually, I've, I've seen a couple of these here. This is just Thursday, obviously. Ugly Suzuki. Sorry if you like it. Thirty-seven knucklehead. That is just a nice looking bike. See, this is that's the kind of Harley I like. Forty-two civilian. Nice. Twenty-nine. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. One hell of a project there. Another 40 knucklehead. Nine nine six. Fun bikes. R62. 50 small bimmers. Luggage like that, and all these guys are like crazy. Okay, we'll just move on past all these. Here we go. Another thing that fits my fancy ZX7. Look at this baby. Jeez. Just those air intakes are incredible. Remove this for a rear seat. This bike is oh, work of art. Work of art. Looks like a little low on brake fluid, but nothing to top off and refill can take care of. Can take care of. That's something I would bid on. And another one. 92. No removable back. Pretty nonetheless. Now the third, this one's actually the most affordable. Estimated seven to nine K. I love this bike. Love it. There's an R1. Couple R1s. Man, look at that. Man, beautiful. Okay, now into the 200s. We got Z1900, Jixer. Dual headlights on these 90s sport bikes. Just have a soft spot for them. CB400 Super Sport. Another one of those turbos. 900F, slick looking bike. Z1B, Indian Chief. See, that's the first bike I ever sat on was, it was like 2015 or something. It was a Indian Chief Dark Horse or something at the dealer back when I was like 14 years old. And that's when I fell in love. So at some point I will own an Indian Chief. Be crazy if it was the dark horse. Not into any of these choppers. I have to gain like 300 pounds, layer down. <laughs> yeah, not really. Not a chopper guy, that's for sure. That's for sure. Your 46 Indian Chief. 
God, look at that. That is a work of art. I love how it's unrestored. Here's the details. Wow. This is nice. 33 Triumph. Harley Baja. Road King. This is interesting. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Harley. Not my thing. A lot of things are my thing. That's what I've realized I've been saying. I don't know. I can be swayed on just about everything. R D three fifty. Big dog custom. <laughs> Another katana. This is interesting. So look at this. This looks like the past two bikes we've seen. The C B eleven hundred. But this is a 2014, so there's a company called Doremi out in Japan, and they import these body kits for a bunch of different bikes. And you just take a new one, and you put on a body kit, and my lord, these are like meticulously engineered. I mean, look at this. I, I, I would never think this is a 2014, and I would run over to that legitimate one and I just go back and forth and some of the differences obviously come with new bikes but for the most part it's pretty dang similar you can't change the fundamental bones of a 2014 Honda that's another bidder we're going to bid on this if we don't luck out on anything else so that would be cool if that's out in the garage now. Only time will tell, though, if the price is right, right? It's another turbo. 70s, 60s, scrambler bikes. This is pretty. 85. Interceptor. I like these. I prefer the fairing, but nonetheless, it's it's a pretty bike. Similar front cowl to the um, the CV one one thousand one hundred. Now this is the crown jewel. So if you were to ask me, what, Owen, what is one thing that you would take out of all all of these? I would say right here. No hesitation. The 93 CBR Fireblade. God. The first of its kind, the first Fireblade. And the cool thing about this is it's unmolested. Which just never, never happens. Though I would be the one chopping... Well, I wouldn't chop this up. I'd definitely throw on some... Some nice uh, exhaust to let her breathe, but jeez, this is a beautiful machine, beautiful machine. The one on Bring a Trailer went for uh, 50 grand or something incredible, so we will see how much this goes for. I think I'll plug the prices in, like, on the screen or something, but... I love that bike. It was a GPZ one year before mine. Before they unveiled the liquid-cooled 16-valve. It's all right. I like my, uh... <laughs> I like my Ninja. Captain America replicas. For those who love the Chrome...
It's cool, Ninja 600, 94. Those dual headlights, ooh, immediate, but pretty, pretty livery. Two thousand one Dyna, tenth anniversary. It's a nice looking bike. See, there's Harleys I like, and we'll get to a Harley that we're gonna bid on. None of these though. We'll make our way to the Harley that we're looking at. Another GPZ eleven hundred. Still like my Ninja more though. Yes. Jixer 750, 86. Put on your Christmas list. Jeez. <laughs> nice looking bike. TZ 250. I need to build myself one of these cowls. I gotta learn how to do that. Fiberglass work. Yeah. No, absolutely nothing, but I could learn. I could learn. I kind of like doing this one long shot. Same thing with this. Never heard of Bridgestone before. But it's a pretty bike. There's another 996, but it's 996S. Look at that. That is cool looking. The BMW K1, first motorcycle to include anti lock brakes. This one has 60 some thousand miles. She's been, yeah, 64,000. But look at that. Look at that gauge cluster. Yeah, she's been loved, but if yes, that's a nice bike. Yeah, it has. 97 Simmons Custom. There's a, there's a Buell. There's a tall bike. AJS You yeah, must like that scooter Yeah, it's getting packed here It was dead this morning It's just been taking too long to start recording these things 86 Moto Guzzi Le Mans 1000 This is a pretty bike Like I said I'm a sucker for those dual front headlights. 45k miles. Man. Still, I bid. I bid it. She's Italian. That's what matters. Yeah. I like it. That's cool. Seventy three CB seven fifty. Reminiscent of mine. I couldn't chop up something like this. So happy I found my five hundred dollar seventy eight. This is nice. I love the scramblers because of those uh, exhaust system is just beautiful to look at. And a paint. Must not have been used too much. Big Bear Scrambler. Never seen one of these. 67. That is cool. <laughs> yeah, this is this is nice. Another another Gixer. Limited edition. These are just getting expensive. Real expensive. Now, this is an interesting case. So it's listed as a 79 Honda CB750F Custom. But pause and read all that equipment. 
Got some highlights, a 2013 CBR RR front wheel. I mean, it's crazy. So let's take a look at this. This is not your regular 79, if you couldn't tell. Man, oh man, somebody put a lot of money into the, this build. <laughs> wow. I got to meet the craftsman who made this. No shot, it tells you. Mm, yeah. I gotta hunt down whoever built this thing. Just tell them good job. The Yamaha TD1 C Racer. Another pretty, pretty cowl. Gotta learn fiberglass work. Whole bunch of dirt bikes. Look at this MT-01. Jeez. These things are mean. 2004. 1670 cc's. This had a lot done to it. God, this is a raw bike. <laughs> Never ridden one of these, that's for sure. That's crazy. Right next to the little Moto Guzzi, 49. Just look at that staunch difference. I love the diversity here. Some old Buells. God, they're so ugly, but I like them, you know? Another one right next to it. God, look at that livery. Yeah. It's pretty. It's ugly, but it's pretty. I don't know. And I like that confusion. I think I'm leaning more pretty than ugly, though. 2,000 miles on this guy. Yeah. If I was the one, I'd be bidding on that, too. Not a dream. The Honda Dream was the first motorcycle I'd really like paid attention to. The introduction scene to my favorite movie, Roused About, starring Elvis Presley, comes riding in, guitar strapped to his back, riding a Honda Dream, and of course he sees a pretty girl, and her father's driving, sees Elvis looking, flirting a little bit, and runs him off the road. I mean, it's a great movie, but I think he drove a. God, let me think. Dream like 350 or 400 or something like that. Definitely wasn't 160, but nevertheless, it's a pretty bike. I love the chrome and the white wall. Uh, Norton Commando. There's a Sears bike. Okay, we're on our last, last few end of the 300s and then we've seen just about every bike on Thursday today so here's a Screaming Eagle V-Rod this is the Harley I was alluding to we're going to bid on if we can't get anything else the most well arguably one of the most hated Harleys among the community I like it you know, my grandfather is like anti V Rod. He's like, oh, the, it's a Porsche engine. Uh, I don't care about a joint partnership with Porsche. Incredibly fast. Sounds good. Though, if, if this ends up in the garage, what am I going to do to it? First, I'm going to look for something to remove this mess right um, I've seen some where it's just a little shorty fender I don't know if I have to buy that or build that but I'll figure it out second remove this ugly wind guard and third try to lower these bars I think the v-rod muscle 
has, uh, I don't really know anything about uh, uh, Harley, so I shouldn't, shouldn't speak on what I don't know, but somehow I need to get these bars lower. And then I will 100% be in love with it. Indian Western Flat Track Racer. This is a cool bike. I feel like I'm saying that about 90% of these, but it's true. God, beautiful logo. Tanny Roberts. Last street legal two stroke. This dinky little bike. Oh, that's ridiculous. Triumph Bonneville. Another CB350. And I think this is the last thing we're going to try to bid for. CB450 Black Bomber 1969. So it has the chrome essence of a dream but it has like the going in the right direction of the 70s like turn of the decade engineering here there's the exhaust the chrome i like it so i think this this will be the last ditch effort to get something Just about at the end of the line here. Another H2 I was talking about. In beautiful condition. This will go for big bucks. BSA Golden Flash. That is weird scooter. Oh, yeah. Huh. That is disgusting. <laughs> well, those guys like it, so yeah, good for them. These have been going for big, big prices. My dad says, "Oh yeah, your your great grandfather bought me one of these when I was a kid." Isn't that interesting? And here we are. Probably, probably pricey because everybody ripped, ripped them up, you know. Wrote them like they should have. And here we go. This is the start of Friday. All of that is Friday, Saturday. So we'll see how the bidding goes, and maybe I'll stitch some clips of what's up there, the the, the big money room. Anybody get five hundred dollars? You get seventy-five hundred. So, $7,000, Zach, $26,000, that's him, $25,000, there, now $6,000, at $25,000, anybody get $26,000, here, $25,000, the bid, anybody get $26,000, anybody get $5,000, anybody get $6,000, so, $25,000, George Boswell. 3900 CBX, 1000 odometer reach, 6,700 miles, inline six cylinder. 15000 anybody get 10000 no, anybody get 10 anybody get 10 anybody get 1 anybody get 2 I have a $1,000 bid, anybody get $1,500 bid, anybody get 2 and now 5 bid, anybody get 3000 Anybody get 35, 4. At 4,000, anybody get 4,500, 5,000, anybody get 6,000, anybody get 6. I have 5, anybody get 6, 7. At 7,000, anybody get 7, bid. anybody get 8,000, anybody get 9,000, anybody get 8, 9, 10. At 10,000, anybody get 11,000, 11,000, anybody get 10, 11. I have 10,000, 11,000, anybody get 10, 11, 11, 11 now 12, 12,000, anybody get 12, bid. anybody get 12, bid. anybody get 12, bid. anybody get 12,000 dollars, anybody else? 11,500 dollars, internet, you want it? 11, 5, bid. anybody get 5, bid. anybody get 10, Five's the bid. Eleven five. Ten five bid eleven thousand. I have ten five bid eleven thousand dollars. Anybody? Yeah, now five. Eleven thousand. Anybody get five hundred dollar bid? Anybody get five? Anybody get five bid eleven five? Eleven five. Now twelve. At twelve thousand. Anybody get twelve bid? Anybody get twelve bid? Anybody get twelve thousand? Now thirteen thousand. At thirteen thousand. Anybody get thirteen? Anybody get thirteen? Twelve five. Twelve five. Twelve five. So twelve thousand dollars. Jordan Hunter. Whoa. 
Guys, I'm shocked. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to keep the camera stiff, but I'm shaking, guys. 6,753 miles. I did not expect my, my old man to start start going at this one by any means, any stretch of the imagination. It was kind of a last minute thing. In an aside, he was like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if I had like a CBX someday? And I said, yeah, that would be cool. I'd probably be broken down in tears, but yeah, <laughs> that'd be pretty cool. And then um, heat of the moment, we win it. Um, way under price. I mean, 6,700 miles. I've seen these bikes on, well, for starters, Facebook Marketplace. There's a guy sort of local to me, 23,000 miles. He wants 16 grand. I think that's overpriced, but still that's the market. It's the only one I can fathom to buy. Um, I saw one in Oklahoma, um, 17,000 miles, so about 10,000 more. The guy wants $10,000 flat. So, and it's it's like a chopped up one. Let's not forget, gang, the condition of this this machine here. This is immaculate showroom floor. I mean, there's a small imperfection here, but besides that, come on. And even guys that he was bidding against was were like, man, that was a great buy. <laughs> so, yeah, um, auctions are crazy, exhilarating. They are exhilarating. So, never fail. Just keep giving a nice look around. This is going to get shipped from Vegas all the way back to Indiana. So not only am I using this as like a fun little scrapbook for myself, but also a thing to refer back to after it's been shipped. So I found a guy here. Um, I have his card in my bag. But he sells aftermarket Honda exhaust systems. And I asked him straight up, um, out of curiosity, do you have CBX exhaust 6 to 1? And if you guys don't know, the CBX is, argue, in my opinion, the greatest sounding motorcycle ever produced. It's one of my dream bikes. And the guy says, yeah, we, we, uh, we have manufactured them before. Let me check. We have any in stock? He said we have two in stock. So we have a contact to put a six into one, if that's what my old man decides. Now these are original. Hell, I think you could probably sell the original for a decent amount and make back the money. But here we are. Video is already very long, so I'm gonna just hit some highlights on these top range weekend bikes here, Friday, Saturday. Saturday. This is just this is beautiful. So I now I don't think that was it. We saw the uh, the replica earlier. It just has a similar shroud. I don't know anything about this era of motorcycles, but I know when I see an estimate of 160 to 190 k, that it's probably a big deal. Definitely need to do my homework on that. Harleys are just so pretty. I mean, a 19 Ford, 100, over a 100 year old bike in this condition, probably restored, but still. Yeah, just underwent a complete and comprehensive restoration. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that a candle? I don't know. I think on some, some older. German bikes they used to run candles but I don't know this is this is the beauty I dip my toes in some of these unreachable bikes and then I start learning about them. TZ 750 nice is the backstory crazy What else do we have here? 1924 R32. It's a nice looking bike. Someday I'll build myself a board track racer. 
like this. Maybe I'll use this as my uh, reference sometime. I'm actually surprised it's going to go for 40, 40 to 50. One of approximately 25. These things are nice. I'm just happy to see them out instead of collecting dust in somebody's private collection. God, I'd love to see these written. But that's just me. Like that CBX, you know? It's gotta, gotta hit the road. Hydroglide. That's another thing. I don't know, I don't know much about Harleys. I know this, this is nice, 1930s Sheriff Custom, that's cool, love this 50s Indian Chief, that's cool, nice V-Rod, see the, this is what I mean, you gotta put this tail fender on it, And these V-Rods just look sick. You got that fat ass tire on it. Yeah. V-Rods have potential. They have plenty of potential. Ooh, look at this. Mondial. That is beautiful. And many, many more. So this was a good time, absolute success. I mean, CBX, come on. So thanks for checking out this interesting video that's you know not necessarily about fixing some sort of mechanical issue, but an adventure into auctions and how I obtain these things and how my dad does especially so um, I will put out a video sometime in the future of doing a deep dive into the CBX starting it up riding it around all that good stuff so stay tuned for that thanks for watching this almost hour-long video I think it should be about an hour so hasta luego